Spring is a really critical time for us uh, in the vineyards. The plants are starting to wake up. We break dormancy. The buds actually start to push in what we call bud break. And that's a great growing phase. There's a great growing time right there for about two months. And then we really get into, we segue into a really critical point in, in the growing season where we have flowering. And flowering is a really important time because that's the segue for the vintage. So we call it flowering because it really is the point in time when the, the grapevine actually flowers. It sets flowers. And each one of those flowers that is formed ends up pollinating itself and ends up being a single berry. It's really critical for us to have a really nice even keel of temperature. We're looking for something in the in the mid 70s, early 80s. We don't really need, we don't really want rain. It, we don't really want a lot of wind. A little bit of wind is okay because it blows the pollen around. It's a natural form of pollination. But what we don't want is which kind of what we've been having is some some uneven temperatures and a little bit of a rain spell here and there. And what that can do is that kind of disrupts the cycle. The the growing cycle that we're looking for, the flowering process. And we want to keep that nice and smooth and even, and that really will allow us to, to set a really good crop. So cool weather during flowering has a tendency to give us a smaller crop. And what I mean that, it would be less, less fruit per acre on an acre basis. So if we're normally bringing in four tons to the acre, we would be bringing in a little less than that with this cool weather that we're having. But what can also happen is, is in a year like 2005, where we saw that we had some different weather patterns and we were thinking, oh my gosh, this is going to be another light crop. And then it all of a sudden changed and we had this huge crop. So the second half of the growing season is still to be determined. We have about another 120 days to go and we are really crossing our fingers and, and really excited about what that's going to present to us. So what's also kind of unique about this cool weather is you never know who's going to actually go into flower first. On a typical year, your varieties like Chardonnay, your white varieties, you typically harvest those first as well. So you see that they have actually a shorter growing season. So they'll actually flower first followed by Merlot, you get some Petit Verdot in there, and then you can always count on bringing in our Cabernet Sauvignon in the end. But at this year, in our higher elevation vineyards where we have some great exposure and great heat units up there, we have flowering taking place up there where we also have flower taking place in the Russian River and the Chardonnay. So we're, our window has shortened as far as what's flowering at this point in time, but it's been dragging on because of the cool weather when you look at on a longer plane. So what we're seeing is, is Chardonnay and Cabernet are actually closer in flowering than they would be on a typical year. 